Hello friends, a uh, quick video on using pods for the dishwasher. Um, recently I had a repairman come to do my washing machine and the problem that I was having was it was stinky and couldn't get it to clean out even using cleaners and uh, it was the fabric softener in the pods. So that was literally about a week, week and a half ago. Um, I also started using pods for the dishwasher. So there's this type of pod and this type of pod uh, that I've been using. So I kind of just throw it in intermittently, hadn't really paid attention to which one, I was just throwing it in. Uh, I don't wash the dishes every day because I live with just one daughter currently and we maybe once a week wash a load. So typically I would use powder, um, but most often I'll use some kind of a liquid gel. Um, but I had just finished one of these and I had these pods that I had bought and I decided I wanted to get rid of them. So I just thought I'd use the pods. So I've been throwing the pods in each time every couple of days, uh, washing it. Uh, and literally you can see the bags, like it, I can barely close it. It's full. So I only have used maybe 10 pods. So... I go and I turn the dishwasher on the other night and I could hear something wasn't quite right. No water was in it. I opened it up after like three minutes, there's no water in it at all. And I was like, something isn't right here. And I noticed that the little float looked high. And so I pull it off and it was kind of sticky. Um, and so I took it out and there was gunk around the, where the float goes. Um, like residue, sticky residue. So I sprayed that down, washed it, washed the inside of the float, put the float back on, and then tried it again. It did not work. So I put something down there to make sure that the little clicky um, valve was actually clicking, and um, it was. And so I was like, well, it's got to be the solenoid or the, the valve. Uh, float thing and so I thought but there was a lot of buildup around the basket and thick gunky thick very thick and I, I took a like a butter knife and I just kind of stuck it in there and I could scrape thick gunk off of the basket and um, I thought there seems to be a lot more residue in the dishwasher than I normally have and now I'm having a problem with the float sticking and no water coming in. And I wondered if the pods were the problem because I never had a problem until I started using the pods. So what I think happens is I think this plasticky stuff doesn't dissolve all the way and it, and it makes like a gunky thick, kind of like rice paper. If you ever eat candy that has rice paper on it, it becomes like sticky on your tongue and it gets kind of plasticky, thicky on your tongue and it doesn't dissolve all the way. It kind of is just like a gel in your mouth for a long time if you've ever eaten uh, rice paper treats. And I think that that's what's going on is these plastic supposed to be melt away things are not melting clearly and they're leaving residue, sticky, gunky residue in the washing machine and in the dishwasher. So I took hot water, hot, hot, hot boiling type water and poured it in the bottom of the dishwasher, let it sit for about 10 minutes. I took a toothbrush and I scrubbed everything in the basket around the float. Now don't put any water in the float tube. That's electronics in there and you don't want a problem. But around the basket part of the washer and to the bottom of where the, the float, you know, just to cover the bottom of the dishwasher basically. And I took a, a toothbrush and I scrubbed everything with that toothbrush, everything, and let it sit for uh, half an hour, 40 minutes, and then I drained it. And I tried doing it immediately right after that, and it didn't start. So I called the next morning, so it took me about an hour to do all that. Next morning, I call my repairman. My repairman shows up after work and comes in and turns <laughs> start and water comes out and it ran fine <laughs> so whatever I did somehow unstuck something oh also when the float the I put the float back on the rubber gasket 
uh, washer stuck to the top of the, the tube where the float goes in. So I had to carefully take that rubber gasket off, clean the inside with the toothbrush, get it all cleaned out, and put that rubber gasket uh, back in the top of the float thing. So up inside where the float sits over top of the, the bottom. The float is in the the float tube is in the bottom of the dishwasher like this, and the float sits on top of it. And when the water fills up in the, the thing, it comes up and it tells the water to shut off. And then it drains and it will go back down. But it got stuck. Some of this stuff, I think, got gunky in there and it stuck up. And I'm lucky I could have had flooding um, in the right situation. It could have been bad. Solenoid hasn't had a problem since. There's been no problem. It I think it was just this plasticky residue because where my, uh, I put this in, the dishwasher, the flap is right here. It opens up and it drops this right next to where the float is. So this gets opened up when the machine is on, opens up and it drops right next to where the float is and the float goes up and down. I think some of this plasticky stuff just got wrapped around that float when it was moving and kind of got up in there and got stuck. So this is to warn you, you may not want to use pods in your dishwasher or your washing machine. So check out my other video about using pods in the dishwasher, in the washing machine, because it made my laundry room stink on my laundry stunk. It was terrible. I had to get, get the guy to come and clean the whole washer out. So check that out. It's the secrets gratitude.com is my YouTube channel. The, uh, the Secret is Gratitude is my YouTube channel. The Secret is Gratitude.com is my blog. Um, you can type in pod on there or pods and it will come the post about laundry pods and or dishwasher pods. So I just wanted to warn you, um, repair man twice because of pods. So just beware, use at your own risk. But if it's me, I will not use the pods anymore. I'm just going to donate these to the food bank. <laughs> Let somebody else use them, maybe? <laughs> or dissolve them in hot water and then put the liquid in? I don't know what you'd want to do. Cut them open, use the soap, I don't know. But I, I'm not using these again because I don't want flooding and I don't want to have to have a repairman here again. So just use it your own risk. Anyway, check out my blog, secretsgratitude.com. If you like the channel, subscribe, hit notifications. Have a blessed day.